um, I'm watching this video. This is by Blair uh, White. And shout out to her because she is a very common sense. She is transgender woman, first and foremost. She doesn't claim the title of being an actual woman. She has the concept that her her um, being trans is like, she said it's another category of of male because that that is what she is from birth. She's not trying to take the title of women away. She's not trying to, but she's very common sense. I want to get into some of this. Stuff. She, so she addressed Miss Pearly things concerning Miss um, Pearly things thinking that women don't have the right to vote. But one point that Blair brought out in this video was, but they still want women's tax dollars. They want to make sure women continue to pay taxes so that they can keep the system running. However, they want to take their rights away. And that is a fact. But I want to get into this one thing because it's concerning this young girl talking about she, these are some, they're creating these terms for everything that they want to be justified in, um, acknowledged in. It, 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 it's some really wacky stuff. But let me continue. You're the problem. You're the issue. The it comes down really to address, you, though. babe. No one else. So get it together. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh my God. Ew, I can't. TikToker claims to suffer from time blindness. And so this this girl claims she has something called time blindness which is actually not getting to her job on time. So these are like, they're making up terms that are just like, they're so fucking ridiculous. Let's continue. Last employers who make employees come on time. Let's, let's see. So I just got yelled at for asking a very reasonable question. So I'm applying to go somewhere and I just wanted to know, are there accommodations for people who struggle with time blindness and being on time, <coughs> you know? And then the person I was I with, interrupted and acted like I was asking something else. And then when we were done, they actually started yelling at me and saying that accommodations for time blindness doesn't exist. And if you struggle with being on time, you'll never be able to get a job, you know, provided you're trying your absolute best to be there. And then they're like, your stupid generation wants to destroy the workplace. And yeah, I think that a culture where workers are just cut off because they struggle with being on time when there's other solutions that we can look to. I think that just anybody who thinks it's okay to just treat people like that, yeah, that culture needs to be dismantled. And then I asked that person, how can you feel good about yourself upholding this kind of system? And then to think I'm entitled. No, if people think it's okay to treat others like this, I, that's entitlement. I don't even want to get- Gen Z is not okay. Not, not even want to get into what Blair is about to say, but I have a few things to say here. So, and it's not to, it's not to go against this woman and have her be attacked. I don't want to do that, but I just want to make some very clear points. She doesn't want people to be accountable for the time they come into their jobs. However, certain people have jobs that if they don't show up to work on time, you may actually die. Okay. Police officers, firefighters. hospital workers, nurses, doctors, ambulance workers, med workers, somebody in a chemical plant, there's a problem. And let's just say they willy-nilly say, hey, I don't want to show up until, uh, until I feel like it. Meanwhile, the plant explodes. So this, this type of ideology, it, it, it's very, it's very, it, I, I want to be very diplomatic in the way that I say this about what this woman has said, this young girl. But if people didn't show up for work on time, you might actually lose your life. So you need to be thankful for the people that actually do show up on time and do make it to where they need to make it concerning you and your life. 
What happens if um, the people that work in grocery short stores just decided they don't want to show up and maybe they only want to show up five minutes until the, their, their shift ended, ended? Are you going to get your groceries? Like this irresponsibility type thing, it, it's it's so ridiculous, the mindset, because a lot of these, these younger generations don't understand how things work. And yeah, they might want to dismantle things, but if you're dismantling, eventually it's going to come back to bite you in the ass. Because if everybody thought like you did, or the people that you hang around with do, and you actually have a critical critical serious a situation and a cop doesn't show up somebody's breaking into your home and they're like ah oh, i'll get there when i get there or a paramedic says ah oh, i'll get there when i get there your parent is having a heart attack or whatever the case may be you're going to hope to god that they show up on time i just want to say that this stuff is getting ridiculous let's hear what blair had to say Time blindness. Time blindness. Remember when Kim Kardashian got backlash like last year for saying that her advice to women in business is to get off your ass and work? And she was canceled as if she said the N word or some shit. Like, that's how you know how demented this generation is and how anti work this generation is. You're making it easier for people who do want to work. I will say that. What a joke. <laughs> yeah, baby girl, if you can't make it to a job on time, you deserve to get fired because you're costing people money and costing them time. And it's fucking rude because while you're not there doing a job, someone else has to do it. So while you're so upset about how people are treating you, trying to hold you to something that you agreed upon, which is to be at a place at a certain time, why don't we talk about how you're a rude piece of shit because you're expecting someone else to pick up your slack while you're not even in the room when you should be. Wow. Something really got into the head of, the gener of this generation and told them that dismantling the system is like, the thing to do it's like you're not dismantling the system by fucking not being able to be somewhere on time baby girl you're dismantling your life that was embarrassing and then anyways i i just want to get back to the fact that that she's gonna she's going to i know she's immature i get it but she's gonna hope that that when she needs somebody to be on time critical workers, critical employees. She's going to she's going to hope that they do show up on time. I'm just going to be honest with you. And that's the facts.